Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get all my textbooks for free online and how you can do the same. A lot of people have been in my comments asking me to make this video, so I will be doing that for you guys today. Today specifically, I'm going to be talking about one really big and maybe a little known website that a lot of college students use for their textbook, which is called LibGen. LibGen has literally saved my life and it has saved the lives of so many college students who have been previously spending hundreds of dollars at the bookstore for books that they're only going to be using one semester so this is why i'm making this video i want to help you guys out and at the end i will be including an alternative website so that you guys don't only have one option because sometimes books aren't in one website but it's in another okay so getting right into the video the things that you're going to need is literally just your laptop i have my macbook here or an iPad, I have my iPad here. And I'm showing you guys how to do it on both because I know some people only have an iPad and some people only have a laptop, but also you can get it on both and then have books accessible on both devices. So that's why I'm doing it on them. So I'm going to screen share my screen so you guys can see everything I'm doing right here on my MacBook. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is go on Google, I'm already on here. And what you're going to want to do is type in libgen and just hit search and it's going to be the first link you can also click the second link but i would just click the first link just because it always works for me but if it doesn't work then you can always click the second link so i'm just going to go on here and then what you're going to want to do here is literally in the search bar you can look up a book by the title you can look it up by the author the publisher year the isbn number which is literally that long code that they give you i personally would not recommend doing that just because there could be different editions on here and the exact edition that your professor wants you to get might not be on here so that's why i would just look it up by the name okay so i quickly went to one of my syllabi and as you can see right here this is the recommended and required text civil liability and criminal justice so I'm just going to copy the title. This is the ISBN that I was talking about right here, but it says seventh edition and I might not find the seventh edition. That's why I don't want to copy that exact ISBN number. So I'm going to go back to library Genesis, just hit uh, paste and then search. Here you can see that it has the fifth edition, which honestly in college it does not matter i only have one class where it was required to get the exact edition because we have worksheets and stuff that's inside the textbook that we're going to have to do for homework but when it comes to these types of textbooks i promise you i'm literally a junior so if you want to take my advice i have three years of experience i guess it does not matter what edition you get as long as it's not too far behind because literally the only difference is probably some of the words it's not going to be that much of a difference and unless your professor tells you that you need the exact edition and gives you a valid reason because sometimes they just want you to have the specific edition just because i would get this edition and then ask my professor if it's okay most of the time they'll say yes sometimes they'll say no but like i said if they don't give you a valid reason then there's no point in really listening to them so here i'm just clicking the edition so we get to this page and there is a download option but we do not want to click that i i've never clicked that i've watched tutorials on how to do this so that's how i know to not click that specific button what we will click is the cover image right here so we're going to click that and at the top right here it says get you click get and that's when an automatic file should start downloading to your computer some of them will download in pdf form which is fine unless you have a preference but i don't so here it is this is the entire textbook here is the table of contacts the first chapters everything you can see the amount of pages right here and here you can download it onto your device onto your macbook or ipad or anything like that so that's pretty much how to download it from the libgen website on your macbook and now i'm going to be showing you guys the same process on your ipad i'm not really going to go into too much into depth because it is literally the same process but i'm just showing you how you can do it on your ipad as well go to google you're just going to hit libgen enter um it was already on my ipad so that's why it automatically searched, but you do the exact same process. Just enter it into Google, click on the first website, and that's literally it. I'm going to type in the exact title of my textbook. 
Equality and Criminal Justice. Okay, so here's all the options that came up. It's pretty much the same thing. Here is the fifth edition. One thing that you do want to look into is look at the pages every time that you go because the ones that say zero pages will not down. I mean, they will download, but it won't be anything on there. So you want to make sure that it has something like this, 507 pages, just so you know that it's reliable and that you're not wasting your time downloading something. So I'm going to click on this one that is the same exact thing. Click on the cover image click get sometimes you will be redirected just close that out um and then hit get again and then you're going to hit download it's going to download in this little corner right here and then it's going to be downloaded what you're going to want to do next is hit this little share option in the right hand corner and and then you're going to want to scroll all the way to good notes if that's what you use i'm pretty sure notability also has an option import as new documents this is the class right here civil liability and criminal justice i'm going to import it and then you just wait for it to download and then it downloads right into that class's file so the last tip that i have for you guys is to not give up when you do not find your book in libgen libgen is probably the most known source to get college textbooks for free online but there are others the other website that i use is called z-library.com i'm pretty sure or just look up z library on google and it's probably going to be the first websites and literally it's the same exact process you look up the name you click on the cover image make sure that the pages say not zero that they say like an actual book amount of pages and then you just hit get and then it downloads the exact same way and you can do this on your ipad and your macbook in my opinion those are the two most reliable and safe sources to get textbooks i've been getting my textbooks from there since my sophomore year because that's when i learned about it sadly i know that a lot of the people that watch my videos are either going into college next year or are incoming freshmen this year so i just want you guys to know that there are other options because i know that the textbooks at the bookstore and colleges is so expensive i've literally bought books for like 200 dollars there that have literally been free online and i just don't want you guys to struggle because there is no need to get the 200 dollars version of a textbook just because it's the exact same version that the professor wants especially if it has the same exact context and information as an older edition that's not even that old so yeah i hope that this video was very informational and i hope that if you did not know how to get your college textbooks for free that i helped you a little bit if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe i'm at 3.4k i just hit 3.4k today so i'm so proud and grateful and i love every single one of you so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in my next one bye